Hi, I'm Katie Collier, and today we're staying on the holiday theme, and we're gonna do something that you can make for your next gathering, a beautiful handmade lasagna. We're gonna do a Swiss chard and artichoke lasagna today with a handmade noodle. We're doing two colors on the noodle, just a regular durum flour, and then a beautiful, we're gonna dye some of the layers of the noodles with some Swiss chard. So very pretty, kind of reminds me of a really good artichoke and spinach dip if you created that and made that into a lasagna, but very simple and everyone is gonna love this. First thing we gotta do is we gotta make these noodles. So we're gonna make two pastas, one regular noodle with just our durum flour and then another one we're gonna dye with some Swiss chard juice. Here's your chard, beautiful rainbow chard. We juice some, got the juice over here. We're gonna make these two doughs and then we're gonna let those rest while we get everything else together for our artichoke and chard lasagna. So I've got a beautiful um, finely milled durum flour. Durum is super silky and soft. Great for doing like sheet, you know, beautiful silky sheet pasta. So for two cups of durum, I usually do about five eggs, four or five. I'm gonna start with four. All right, so you're just gonna take a fork and just slowly just get that egg, those yolks broken up slowly start to incorporate the walls of that well. Let's add a little bit of salt, tablespoon, and a little bit of olive oil, just a little. And then once you get to kind of this crumbly phase, that's when you can kind of slowly start to incorporate all of it. You really wanna feel your dough though. I wouldn't incorporate every last bit of this flour until you kinda of feel it. You don't want it to be too stiff that you can't roll it out. Okay, so just slowly start to knead your dough once it gets to that phase. Fold, push, fold, push. So this is starting to feel really good. So I'm gonna knead this for about 15, 20 minutes and then I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap really tight. Let it rest in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And then after that, it's gonna be ready. We're gonna take it out, let it kind of get to room temp, and then we're gonna roll it out. So just on your same board, we're just gonna make the green uh, noodle with the Swiss chard juice. So if you have a juicer, just juice some chard. If not, I guess go to like your local juice place and ask them if they can get you a little bit. But it really is the key to a beautiful, this is gonna be so pretty because we're gonna have layers of green and white and it's gonna really make it a special, special lasagna. So again, crack your eggs in there. So once those yolks, those four yolks are combined, I've only done four, and then I'm gonna add like what's an equivalent of, you can just guess, kind of one more egg. And then you're gonna get that beautiful green color there. So that's your Swiss chard juice, and then just can keep going. And that's why it's so fun, is because it really is an art form. But as you get better at it, you can just really start to feel it and you won't have any problems. You won't even need measuring cups anymore. Gets kind of crumbly here and then you're just gonna slowly start to knead it. And you'll have a beautiful dough ball. We're gonna wrap it in saran wrap and do the same thing, let it rest. And while our dough is resting, we're gonna make the filling for our lasagna. with this lasagna, we don't wanna overdo the oil or anything, and I'm gonna um, add my garlic. Did like four cloves of minced garlic, and then we're gonna add our chard. And then this looks like a lot, but when we're done with it, it's not gonna be that much. So I'm gonna add a little bit more here, oil, salt, and there's a lot of salt in the cheese. 
Okay, so think about those things when you're salting things. Are you using a cured meat? Are you using a cheese? Like we're gonna be using parm, we're gonna be using fontina. Those things already naturally have a lot of salt in them, so we don't wanna overdo it here. So we're just going to I'm use some tongs actually. And just slowly start to turn this. And it's all about what you prefer. I'm going to cook it down just a little more, but I am gonna let the shard shine and it's still gonna have that beautiful bite. So you can see it's wilted, but there's still you still got that beautiful color and shape. So I'm done here because it's gonna cook some more in, in the lasagna. I'm gonna add just a little bit of lemon juice real quick and cook it just a, about one more minute shard is bitter so um, it can be really bitter for some people some people love it I really like it but the lemon juice does kind of cut that back a little bit so we're gonna let that lemon juice cook down just a touch so cook it another minute and then that is done I'll get a bowl for that so there we have that we've got our artichoke and then we've got some parmesan for the layers We've got some fontina, which is like a beautiful, creamy, nutty Italian cheese. And then we have the secret ingredient, the stracchino, which is like a triple, quadruple cream, kind of like a brie. And then we've got our bechamel that we've made. And so we're gonna layer that as well, all together with our noodles, and we'll bake our lasagna. So the key to sheeting dough, is you're sort of like continuing the kneading process. And so you're gonna start at the thickest setting and you're gonna slowly keep lowering your settings and weaving it through, folding it over because you want a really um, even sheet and you'll watch me do that. But start at the thickest, do a couple of runs and keep going down until you get down to your desired thickness. Different noodles need different thickness. Okay, that's a 10. We're gonna go down to nine. And then I'm gonna turn it this way, okay? So a couple passes when you do that and then just keep turning it down and then you'll have a beautiful long noodle. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put down just a little bit of oil for that first layer. I'm gonna start with the green because I wanna finish with the plain noodle. I think that'll be really pretty. And we're just gonna layer one after the other. So just lay that down. Do just a little bit of bechamel. Oops. We've got our shard. We're gonna do about seven or eight layers. So we wanna make sure we spread it out. Add some artichoke. You're doing cheese every layer, so we, you know, don't do not overdo this, or else you're gonna have a really gooey, oily mess. So just a little bit of, the, a little bit of that uh, fontina. Parm is actually gonna tighten it up, so you can go a little bit heavier on the parm, but it is salty. And then six little chunks per one, because that's gonna melt out as well, and you're gonna be layering it. Here we go, so we're gonna throw this in the oven. We've preheated the oven to 350. We're gonna cook it because we're using a fresh noodle about 30 to 45 minutes, just kind of, you know, eyeball it and keep an eye on it, and here we go. Nadia, look! So we have um, our beautiful artichoke lasagna, and I love the crispy um, ends here with the noodle. Garnish it with some torn basil leaves and you're just gonna hand tear those. Okay, and then a little lemon zest. Okay, mmm, smells amazing. <laughs> so there we have our beautiful holiday lasagna. It's got artichokes, Swiss chard, bechamel. 
she's clapping. Thank you. And some um, beautiful handmade noodles. So enjoy.